Hello children, this is Dimple from Dimple's Joy of Storytelling and today I've come with a new story named Pickle Monster Mucky Scruff. There was once a kitten who had no family and no home. Have you got a name yet? The other kittens would ask him when they met him in the street. No, no, no name yet, the kitten would say very sadly. Look at your face. You must find a family, the other kittens would tell him. A family will give you a name. The kitten came to a garden where a woman was cutting the grass. The kitten saw that there were children's clothes on the washing line. Good, he thought. There must be children in the house. The, and children surely love kittens. Pickle Monster, Mom called to Jessie. I wish you wouldn't call me that, said Jessie. It makes me feel very silly. Sorry, said Mom. I just wanted you to see this kitten. It's just a baby, cried Jessie. And she picked up kitten and stroked it. You funny little thing. You are the one who's getting into a pickle, she said. You should be called Pickle Monster. Not me. So Jessie has already thought a name for her. She wants to name the kitten Pickle Monster. David came into the garden. Hello, Mucky Scruff, said Mum. Come and look at this. David looked cross. Don't call me that, he said. It's a silly name and it makes my friends laugh at me. He went over to have a look at the kitten. Let me hold it too. He said to JC, Only while I'll get it some milk, she said, because it's my kitten and I saw it first. It's mine as much as yours, said David. It's my house too. And he could stroke the kitten and say, You poor muddy little thing, you should be called Mucky Scruff, not me. The kitten played with Jessie all day. And David too. Can I keep him? Asked Jessie. His name is Pickle Monster and he's just what I've always wanted. Can I keep him? Asked David. I'll look after him and his room and name him Mucky Scruff. I'll think about it, said Mum. The kitten heard all this and was very worried. Have I got a family or not? He thought. And if I have, which of those is my name? Is it Pickle Monster or is it Mucky Scruff? Later, they took the kitten into the house and gave it some milk and a box to sleep in. Then Mum said, All right, I've made up my mind about the kitten. You can keep him if he wants to stay here but only if you share him. Great, said Jesse. We call him Pickle Monster. Oh no, we won't, said David. His name is Mucky Scruff. Well, well, said Mum. Let's see which name he answers to. The kitten listened to all this from his box. Oh dear, he thought. I don't know which one of my real name is going to be. He was frightened that he would answer to the wrong one. Pickle Monster called JC. Come to me, Pickle Monster. There's a good kitty. But the kitten was too frightened to come out of his box. Mucky Scruff calls David. Come to me, Mucky Scruff. But the kitten didn't know what to do. Mum looked at the children. Pickle Monster, Mucky Scruff, she said. This won't get us anywhere. That sounded like the best name of all. So the kitten suddenly jumped out of his box and ran up to them. Pickle Monster Mucky Scruff! They all laughed. The kitten sat at their feet and purred. This was his own home and his own family and he finally had a name. And he was called Pickle Monster Mucky Scruff at last. And the little kitten was very, very happy. 
I hope you enjoyed the story, children. It was really cute. And do you like kittens? Would you like a kitten as a pet? I would. I love animals, dogs, puppy, cat, kitten. I love them all. I'll see you with a new story next week. Till then, bye and take care. It was a beautiful story today. Story today. Story today. It was a beautiful story today. We had some lots of fun.